Hey everyone, what's going on? Today I'm going to talk about the top digital audio workstations, or DAWs for short, for recording music and audio. If you're a YouTuber who needs to record audio, or you're a singer, a musician, or a producer, you need one of these workstations in order to create your music. So today I'm going to go over my pick of the top five audio workstations for beginners, but really in general for everybody. All right, let's get to the video. Coming in at number five on my list is Ableton or Ableton Live, or even Ableton Live Lite. Uh, this is a pretty basic software, and you actually get it for free if you buy a lot of M Audio products or a keyboard or a microphone, but it works pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it can definitely get the job done, and it definitely has reached the realm beyond music production and can even be used for live performances. It is a great starting one, and you can get it for cheap or not very expensive. Uh, it's a great place to start, and I highly suggest it for beginners. Coming in at number two is Reason. Now, I haven't personally used Reason, but I've heard pretty good things about it, especially in the realm of music production. You can do a lot with cutting and sampling, and really it's for making beats, but you can also record music with it. Um, you can record audio but you can't clean it up too well. But when it comes to beats, it has a lot of good built-in instruments, and it's known for doing what it does pretty well. It's not too expensive, but definitely a little more pricey. I think it goes for around $200 for the full version. But it should last you a while, and I think it comes with quite a bit of updates to keep you going. Coming in at number three is FL Studio, which is formerly known as Fruity Loops, and it's been around for a very long time. And I like it, it's not my favorite, but I do like it. But when it comes to beat production, it's almost what every big producer in the hip hop industry or anything else uses to make beats or record music. You can also record audio on it, and it's very good for that too, but not the best. But for beat making, it is probably the best beat making software. The only issue is it doesn't come with a ton of built in instruments or plugins, so you may have to go out and purchase those. But overall, it's definitely worth what it is. And I recommend getting it, especially if you're a beat maker or a producer. Number four on this list is going to be Cubase. This is another one that I don't have much to do with. I haven't used Cubase, but I do have friends that use it. And arguably, it's one of the most recognizable names in the recording software world. Uh, the first is going to be next. But it's pretty good for what it's worth, again. You can only record eight audio tracks on some of the first versions but you can get more if you have a, a better or a newer version. And this is pretty cool to use, uh, especially if you don't have a lot of experience, because from what I hear, it's pretty simple and it's not too expensive, but it's worth a shot. And coming in at number five, which is my personal favorite, and I think a lot of people will agree with me, is Pro Tools. Now you've heard the name Pro Tools. It is a very recognizable name. But what does it really have to offer? Well, for beginners, if you don't have a lot of money, you can go out and buy an Avid made interface. And with that, you can get Pro Tools Express, which is Pro Tools, but it's very limited with the plugins and instruments, but it's very effective for what it does. You can also get Pro Tools LE, or if you have the money, you can buy the full version of Pro Tools, which is 12.7 now, I believe. This is what I use because a friend of mine recommended it to me, and I kind of fell in love with it. You can record up to, I believe, 80 audio tracks, including instruments or anything else. It has a lot of plugins. You can also go out and get plugins for free or paid to edit onto your roster. It has great functionality. You can record multiple tracks at the same time. Easy hookup, easy processing. Uh, it's, it's pretty great. So I recommend if you have the money to go out and get Pro Tools, or if you don't have the money, get Pro Tools Express or Pro Tools LE, learn with that, and eventually get the full version of Pro Tools. Well, there you have it, guys. In my opinion, the top five digital audio workstations or audio software for everybody. Whether you're a YouTuber or a musician, you need one of these, so you might as well get it now. Try to find a cheap one, or if you have the money, get a better one. Pro Tools is definitely my number one pick, but all of the five on this list are good for what they do. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more content. I will be doing more 
audio videos and reviews like that, as well as my typical top five. And I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.